Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing up my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. Alright. Let's do this. It's a magnifying glass. For... magnifying things. Oh! Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. Pele, goddess of fire. Why was Grandpa researching Hawaiian myths? I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. A desk drawer. A desk drawer. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Ah, the old gramophone. Nah. I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. That's a really nice binocular <laughs> telescope. That's a really nice telescope. A vest, me matey. Yar. <laughs> A desk drawer. Huh. It's locked. It's locked. Hiking by train. I'm leaving by train. There's no one to play. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books.
Nuh-uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother. But there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. Hey, Mr. Piggles. How've you been holding up? Hey, Mr. Piggles. How've you been holding up? Don't you oink at me. I prefer my face unmelted. Thank you very much. Nuh-uh. I've watched too many movies to go about st I prefer my face unmelted. Thank you very much. Nuh-uh. I- Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. Few saying sh Oh, okay. These can be pushed. Yeah! <laughs> I did it! This looks like. Is this a second part of my necklace? Well,
Aren't these triangles in the journal pages? Aren't these triangles in the journal pages? This hand is a triangle facing outwards. Okay, so I need to set these hands correctly. Maybe the answer is in Grandpa's journal pages. Was that it? Did I do it? That was the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner, so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. But that is a longer story, for another time.